Hey guys, it's April. I just wanted to um, show you guys a little bit. We get several questions about split monograms. So let me go ahead and show you guys um, a little bit about how to do that. And I'm going to do the letter S and I'm going to do this whole fancy one because those are some of the most difficult ones to do. And I just went into images and then I went to cartridges. You can type monogram, whatever, but I knew I wanted to use one of these monograms to show you guys. Um, I'll even grab this one to show you. Um, that one will be a little bit, probably a little bit easier. We're going to hide it for right now. So I've got the S monogram here, and we want to split this. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a shape, and I am going to make myself a rectangle. Now what I like to do, and it's totally up to you how you want to do this, is I want to go ahead and get my text, and let's just use the name Smith. Oops, I wanted to do that in caps. Um, and pick out your font. And I'm just going to go with the font that I have and whatever size you want it to be in height. It needs to fit within this rectangle and, and a little bit more because you're going to have your bars on there. You want to give it a little space. So I'm just making sure that my, my um, last name will fit inside that rectangle. The length doesn't matter, it's just the height. And then I am just going to align and center and see where that lands, see if I like it. That looks pretty good to me. And so I'm going to select my letter and it's layered, so I'm going to ungroup it. And if you want to do a single layer, you can do a single layer, but you have to ungroup it to slice. And you can only slice two images at a time. So I have to, I can't select the top layer and the bottom layer and my square because you can see that my slice is grayed out. But I can select my square and I'm just going to duplicate it and just going to align them all center. That looks good to me. I'm going to select my first square. I'm going to hold down my shift key and select my second square. So you can see over here in the layers panel I have the square and the monogram in gray and they are uh, the only two I have selected and slices available. So I'm going to hit slice and then I'm going to pull out this trash and I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need it anymore. It's a dead soldier. Okay, now I'm going to select my red layer. I'm going to select my other square and I am going to slice those two. I haven't moved anything. Everything should um, essentially line up. Now I am going to arrange and move that to the back so I don't keep selecting it. And I'm going to get rid of the trash from that. Now I have my monogram split. And you can see that it's a little wide. It's kind of hard to tell it's an S. That's what you have to pay attention to, depending on your font. Um, because they just won't look right if you slice too much out of them. So let's go back. Just going to undo it all so that we can start from scratch. I just wanted you guys to see. It's going to depend on the font, uh, the monogram motif or the font that you choose. You can do this with any font, guys. Any font whatsoever. Let's get rid of that. Oops, not that one. I want to get rid of that second square. Not duplicate. Delete and delete. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because I want to be able to tell that it's an S. I don't care about that little bit in the middle. Um, totally doesn't matter to me. If you want that, then you wouldn't be slicing this one anyway. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to duplicate it and align center. Let's see. See it drops down there and that makes it look more like an 8. So I'm going to select my two squares. I'm going to bump them up just a little bit right between that circle and that circle. That looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to do the same steps. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select the top one. I'm going to slice it. I'm going to get rid of all of the slicing trash. And now I'm going to select this one, hold my shift key, and I can select in the layers panel and slice that red layer. And then we're going to get rid of that trash. And I'm going to arrange and move that to the back. And now it's kind of looking like an S. 
But now I need my rectangle. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get a shape. And we're going to unlock it. And the length of this is going to depend on your taste, what you like, how wide you want it to be, how thin, how narrow, totally up to you. If you're going to use a shadow layer, so I'm going to make this one kind of thin to go with the shadow back here and the cutouts. And I like that. I'm going to lock that back and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to slide it right down. I am going to duplicate it again. And I am going to align and center those two bars. Okay. And now I am going to select one. And you can do this just on your red layer. I think that's what I'm going to do. You can do it on both layers, but I think I'm just going to do it on my red layer. Um, totally up to you. If you want to do it on your blue layer, you can. It's going to be the same process, um, but totally up to you. But for the video, I really don't need it. So I'm going to slide this out of the way. And I like that one there. And let's align and center them horizontally. You want them centered horizontally. And we're going to weld. And, and I only have the bars selected. So let's weld those. And now I want to center it horizontally with my letter. Looks good. And weld. And now I have that. And I have this piece. Let's arrange and move that to the front. So if you're doing two color, you can do it that way. And that's going to give you your S. It's going to separate that. Let's see. Smith fits in there pretty good. I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit. Let's align, center everything. Oops. And it drops down. So arrange, move that to the back. Arrange, move that to the back. So sometimes, even though that's dead center, that's not what we want. So we want to center it horizontally. So now let's select it all, align, center horizontally. And now we have that ready to go. And you can weld that name in there if you want to. It's not going to hurt anything. Do it in the color that you want. Let's say I want to do this in that one. So because my bars are red and weld. And now I'm ready to cut that and put it together. That's how simple and easy it is to slice and do your monogram motif. Um, let's do this other one. I'm going to hide this. Let's group it and hide it. And now let's work with this one. This one has several layers. Um, let's ungroup it. Well, let's select everything and make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. You have all of these layers. You would need to slice all of those together if you're going to use them. We're just going to say that we're not using them. We're just going to use this one. As a matter of fact, let's just get another letter because I just showed you how to do that one. Let's do maybe, that's another tough one. To me, L's are tough. So let's go in and get the L. There we go. And we can insert that. And again, if you're going to slice all the layers, then you need to do that number of rectangles to slice it. Um, L's can be a little bit tough because, let's face it, they're wider at the bottom and then you've got that one side. So let's ungroup it. And I'm just going to say that I'm not going to use these pieces and be solid. Same thing. You're going to get your shape. You're going to decide how wide you want it to be, unlock it, how wide you want that name to be, and you're going to slice it where you think is center, because if I bring this align, center, it's going to be way down here. I typically don't like that, but it's all in what you like. I like mine to be up just a little bit higher on the L, so I'm going to duplicate. We're going to, I just want those to hold my shift and select it in the layers panel, align, center, and now I'm going to take one in the top layer and slice, and I'm going to just go in my layers panel and get the bottom layer and slice those two, 
I'm just going to pull these out and get rid of all that trash. And now you would weld your bars in here. I'm going to align, move that to the back. I want to align them back up center. And then again, you're just going to bring your bars in. And with me, like I said, the L's, they can, they can look kind of wonky sometimes. Um, so make sure that you get your bar in there like you want it. And I try not to pay attention to the side over here because they're going to look off balance. I try to make it look as balanced as I can get it. So I want my two bars. Oops. Align. Center those back up. I want my two bars right here. And I'm going to align, center them horizontally. I'm going to weld those together. And then I can look at it and judge. Where do I want that name? Um, let's put in some text. Let's say Lynn. And how big do I want that to be? That's going to matter as well. Each letter is going to be different. You're going to you're going for what is appealing to the eye, okay? And just because that might be the the true center for that, it might look more appealing over here to you than that does. So you'll want to make sure that you do that. And of course, you're going to line your name up inside your bars, align, and center it horizontally. And just take a look at it. And to me, I like the way that that looks. All in personal preference. Select that. I'm going to weld it. I'm going to arrange and move that to the back. And then I like to do my top color. If I'm doing dual color, my name opposite of the bars. So I've got those selected and I'm going to weld those. And now that one is ready to go. So that's how simple it is to do a split monogram. You can use any font, any letter. Um, any of those things, but you want to make sure that you get rid of that trash in the middle. Don't try to separate them and make them bigger because if you do, your letter is going to look off. You don't want to move those. Um, you don't want to slice out so much of it that it no longer resembles an S or an L or an N. Make sure you're slicing from the right spots. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help.